Roberts right now. Dan Roberts is here because they had to halt production of the Batman film in the United Kingdom because of COVID-19. What does this truly mean for the industry trying to get back on its feet? Well, Adam, it's just a reminder that even though things have begun to return in Hollywood, uh, in fact, you know, this film, The Batman, had just restarted filming maybe a week ago. And of course, it was uh, filming had been well underway before the pandemic, and then it had to halt in March when every movie underway had to halt. But a lot of projects have now returned to kind of cautious, socially distanced filming. And then you have this, uh, someone uh, on the cast got COVID-19, and that someone was the star of the film, The Batman himself, Robert Pattinson. And it's just a reminder, I think, of how hard it's going to be for many months to come. I mean, even once, you know, a large number of people have returned to their offices and workplaces, Hollywood is really going to have a, a slow time crawling back here because there will be a lot of starting and stopping. By the way, worth mentioning the irony here. I mean, this weekend, Tenet comes out in select theaters in the U.S. in areas where theaters are open. That's a Warner Brothers movie starring Robert Pattinson. And this, The Batman, is a Warner Brothers movie starring Robert Pattinson. So, uh, filming likely to be delayed here, and that is likely, although Warner Bros. hasn't confirmed it, to delay the eventual release of this movie. But it'll get done. It'll come out. There's a lot of uh, hype and anticipation of this one. Dan, do you think that we're going to get, you know, just these kind of trickles of movies coming out into the, you know, 2022 maybe? Because it does take quite a while for movies to be uh, made. So what, when do you think we'll get on a schedule again where we actually see, okay, Marvel, Marvel, Star Wars, Marvel, Marvel, Star Wars, you know, kind of uh, Disney gets thrown in there, uh, Disney animated, obviously they own all of that. But when do you think we'll get that kind of cadence again? Well, so I wrote about this yesterday, Dan, but uh, I think this weekend will be a really good test and that a lot of decisions are going to follow based on this weekend. And I'm talking about Tenet. Uh, you know, I'm going to go see it here in Connecticut where a lot of theaters have opened because we've done a good job with uh, with COVID. People wear masks. It's very reduced capacity, but a lot of people are not ready to go to a theater yet. So I think the numbers from the end of this holiday weekend for how Tenet does in this limited theatrical release will tell you a lot. And I think you'll also see a lot of dissecting of Warner Brothers' decision to go ahead and put Tenet out in theaters versus Disney's decision of putting Mulan straight on Disney+. Plus. You know, there's going to be a lot of second guessing. Well, who did the right thing? Who was smarter? Especially if Mulan is not the mega hit they expect, if, if too many people balk at that $30 rental price. So I think it'll be a while before there's a regular cadence. But, you know, Black Widow, uh, the next Marvel movie with Scarlett Johansson, Disney hasn't announced what it'll do with that. And some people are saying, just put it on Disney Plus. And others are saying, no, no, hold off. What's the rush? Wait till theaters are fully open and then it's going to do big numbers in theaters. We'll see. Uh, Dan, can you tell me more about Mulan, though? I never saw the original. I doubt I'll see this. So I know I'm going to save 30 bucks. But if I wanted to, I could see it for free. You can't see it for free yet. Now, according to uh, reports of an early Disney document, that a film website found, they're planning on making it free for all Disney Plus subscribers in December. Although once that was reported, Disney scrubbed that date, I think because they don't want to yet commit to that, because what if it's selling really well through December, then they don't want to give it up for free too soon. But let's be clear, uh, Mulan just today hits Disney Plus. You have to already be a Disney Plus subscriber, which has a monthly fee, and then you pay $30 to get it. Now that might sound outrageous, but it's not a one-time rental. It gets added to your Disney Plus library. You can rewatch it over and over. Uh, so it comes out today. I mean, I'm going to pay the $30 eventually. I, I think we're going to watch it. We're excited about it. I should mention, uh, news-wise, what's interesting is the lead actress in the movie, Liu Yi Fang, is actually facing some calls for protests uh, in Hong Kong because of support she showed last year for Hong Kong police. So Hong Kong pro-democracy protesters are not happy about that. I don't necessarily think that's going to become a huge uh, threat to the movie, but it's something that we should all uh, follow closely. I know that the team uh, on the move this morning was upset that this film will not have Mushu, I think it was, a song from the original, because this is not a musical. So oh, it's a character the from the original. That's right. Got I agree. Fair. I'm disappointed about that. But man, the original is just one of my favorites. I'm excited for the live action. By the way, Adam, quickly, I haven't been a huge fan of those Disney live action remakes overall, uh, but this one I, I have high hopes for. I think the last Disney action I saw was Bedknobs and Broomsticks last century.